What's going on guys, Greek Freak here, and in this video we're going to be talking about an NBA rumor which is that Damian Lillard is actually available for trade. Now before I get into this video, I want to tell you guys that since it is the NBA offseason, to make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to be notified of my upcoming videos. Remember the bell icon notifies you of all of my videos since it will be randomly timed due to breaking news and other things such as that. But Damian Lillard now being the fact that he actually responded to a tweet basically saying the fact that he's always in a happy mind when it came to being a happy camper with playing with LeBron James. Now, we don't know whether or whether or not that means the fact that he's a happy camper as far as no matter where he goes or the fact that the situation is what it is. So we have to think of it as a maybe taking out of context type thing, but the fact that maybe the fact that they'd be willing to trade. Now, I'm here to tell you guys the fact that even though I've been talking a lot of guests about a possibility that players are going to the Lakers, I think with all that, that they don't actually have the sort of the resources to get Damian Lillard. They technically do, but to me it would be such a bad trade for them. They would have to be just basically trying to rebuild all of a sudden rather than trying to either exchange pieces or anything like that. Which is why I have another team that I believe has more chances of actually getting a Damian Lillard if they try to pursue it. And that would be the New York Knicks. Now, another good reason why the New York Knicks would be a good fit for Damian Lillard is the fact that, as we all know, DeMarcus Cousins to the Warriors, lots of teams are obviously going, I feel like players are going to start to notice the fact that the West is so difficult that it would make more sense to actually extrive your career by going to the Eastern Conference and especially help your image out when it comes to going to a big market now players such as Jimmy Butler have been reported of wanting to go to an Eastern Conference team and maybe teaming up with a Kyrie Irving but I feel like if there's a Damian Lillard out there why not also try to make that work just in case a Kyrie Irving ends up having either a successful time in Boston or the fact that Boston doesn't try to pursue Jimmy Butler so you have to really think about that I think the fact they can add more pieces you're going to be talking about to me a very good team I feel like the New York Knicks could trade away somebody, such as the um, other players, just some smaller contracts where the Lakers would have to include a Luol Deng at this point. Now, they can wait later on for their contract, for their players who are one-year contracts or just signed, for the time to uh, expire that they can trade, the ones that they did not sign to a no-trade clause, but... With that, you're going to be waiting some time, which can be a disadvantage when it comes to another team being interested in the trade. So, the fact that the New York Knicks actually could make pretty good sense here. Now, obviously, I'm sure the fact the Lakers would love to have him. I don't see this trade happening soon if it does happen, due to the fact that I don't see the Portland Trailblazers trying to take up Lou Aldang's $18 million contract. And for those who don't know, the... Kawhi Leonard trade would be more possible because of the fact that Kawhi Leonard makes over seven million dollars less than Damon Lillard a year since he's still on his last year of his contract. But guys, tell me what your guys' thoughts are with Damian Lillard. Do you think the fact that he would be that he's going to be traded? Do you think the fact that that's what he meant? Or do you think the fact that he's going to be going to the Knicks or the Lakers? So guys, tell me what your guys' thoughts are there, and if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe to become part of the Greek Army today, and as always, this is Sparta.